Designing drones can be a lot of fun, and there are millions of ways to do it. These little tricks will help you be more efficient while making decisions about your design, especially if you've never seen a manufactured drone before. As I said in a previous video, drones crash a lot in the prototype stage, and when they do, some components will suffer. That's why you should try to design them in a way that makes them easily replaceable, such as these propellers. These three slots allow you to easily take the component out and put a new one. Regardless of the purpose of your drone, like to carry something or to record through a camera, the parts that accomplish that task are usually rather heavy. The battery adds a lot of weight too, so you will need to find lightweight materials for most of the other components. Think about the purpose of each of them. For example, Bebop has a cover made of foam because it is strong enough to be attached to the frame and hold the lens of the camera, yet still really light. Same for the hull, it is only for protecting the propellers when operating the drone indoors, and it can hold the plastic clippers and bump into things while keeping the propellers safe. Another example is the battery strap made of fabric. It replaces any need for screws and nuts which are heavier and allows you to rapidly switch to a freshly charged battery between flights. If you try to make your drone small and sleek, then be creative with how you assemble the parts. Bebop is a very compact drone, having the GPS, camera, power cables, and a part of the main circuit, all in the nose. Check this out. Even if you can reach some components in a certain space, that doesn't mean you can't put it there. Be creative with parts that can be moved, parts whose shape doesn't matter and can be redesigned to fit around others, and so on. And back to drones crashing and even landing. You need to make sure your drone won't be affected when it falls and hits the hard floor. The Bebop deals with shocks in two ways. The first one is fairly simple, rubber feet. The second one is a little bit more interesting. The frame is connected to the main body, but they are not fixed relative to each other. Four spheres made of rubber allow for a little flexibility, which absorbs the shock of landing or falling. Don't forget, the propellers spin in different directions, therefore their blades are angled in opposite ways. Make sure you have enough spares of each type, and make sure you don't change one propeller with the wrong one, otherwise your drone won't even take off. These are just some ideas I had while playing with the Bebop, but feel free to share your tips and tricks in the comment section. In the next video, we will talk about where to start, the main components of a drone, and how to use the specifications imposed by drone competitions.